Your parents said that it was either summer with me or Bible camp. Just don't try to be my parent. Not like other birth dads. I'm a cool birth dad. Are you quoting Mean Girls? You play such a wonderful man in uh, The Lake. He's honorable. He's a great friend and father. I just fell in love with him. Even though he's got a smart mouth at times. <laughs> <laughs> what a great yeah. character description. <laughs> well, now, you know, and he seems to be in constant motion. His mind is always working. His yes. body is always working. Did you have to develop a rhythm? You know, it's funny you say that. Julian Doucette, who the character is loosely based off of, because obviously the lake is a semi-autobiographical story, a semi-autobiographical story of Julian's life. Um, he kept telling me if I could just remember that Justin was a hummingbird, that I would be fine. Um, that I wouldn't have any problems. So anytime yeah. things got a little too subdued, I would just remember, oh, right, 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 right. Like this guy just can't help himself. He can't stop talking. He can't stop talking with his hands. He can't <laughs> stop trying to make things better even when he's making things worse. Um, and I would do this thing that uh, one of our directors, one of our in-house directors, Jordan Canning, whom I love and is so wonderful, she she aptly named the spaghetti man dance so if i needed to wake myself up because the hours were a little long i would kind of just like move my body like a wet noodle and then i would <laughs> i would be able to find justin i thought oh right that's who justin is like he's just this no, sloppy wet that's noodle amazing. That, yeah he doesn't really know what he's doing and uh and it was just kept the comedy loose and kept me alive <laughs> yeah <laughs> My birthright was stolen from me by my wicked stepsister. You can get in through the window. That's a felony. Oh, it's an adventure. Justin, let's go, someone's coming. But there's such a good heart in this character. And it's just so appealing because, you know, we don't get a lot of that in, in mass entertainment. So yeah. he's very special in my mind. That is so sweet. And you're, you have such a good point because in TV, in the last little while, the emphasis has been so much on telling the stories of the anti-heroes, which are often very yes. complicated, very dark people. And, you know, we've just told so many of those stories that it's only been maybe in the last couple of years when the world itself is, has been a little tough on everyone. We're finding our way back to sincerity in characters and in storytelling. And that's something that really appealed to me about the script. And as much as it, of course, is funny and Justin's complicated and he's a bit of a mess, um, he's sincere and his heart's good and he, he doesn't stop trying. I mean, he's not good at it, but he really never stops trying to make that connection with Billy and to be a better person. We need to take back what's ours. We are gonna bond so hard. <sighs> We're already becoming a family. And how was it shooting up in North Bay? I mean, I'm so jealous. I loved it. I loved it. I mean, every time I would tell people like, yeah, I'm in North Bay and the reaction was always like, oh, oh, Lord, how are you surviving? It's so far away from the city. <laughs> I had a great time. The people were really friendly. Um, the landscape is gorgeous. And there's a little history to the town. It, I, I just, I, I truly can't say enough about it. I think one of the, the most beautiful things about doing this show is we didn't have sound stages. We were working entirely on location. So everything the audience sees is authentic. It really looked like that. It is just good photography. And um, we got to, cinematically, it's a bit of a love letter to Canada and to uh, some really uniquely Canadian landscapes. And I was just so happy we got to put that on screen. All right, little bro, dad wouldn't want us fighting. Not your dad. But it is my cottage. I challenge you to trial by tilt. That's not a thing. Oh, come on, oh, let's no, see let's where see this where goes. This, goes. this could be good, yeah. come on. Madison, you play yes. Billy, who is such a sweetheart. She's not all that patient with her elders, but that's fine. <laughs> I found that amusing. Um, and uh, she finds herself in a situation that's really unusual. And I love that they do this. Her father, her real biological father, is a gay man who had an affair in high school. And he's obviously kept in touch or gotten in touch and planned a holiday for her. And that, that is just so heartwarming. I love it. Um, so obviously the chemistry had to work between the two of you. If you could just tell me how that happened. 
Yeah, it's really crazy because I feel like nobody's going to believe me when I say this, but from our very first chem read, which was over Zoom, we just instantly clicked. Like we got on really well. Our energies vibed. We had like a really good rapport across, you know, a computer where there's technological delays and they're really awkward. And I can't speak for Jordan, but I will. I feel so lucky that I have him and he has me and he's kind of the captain of this ship because it's just been nothing but easy breezy. Yes! What? In terms of your storyline, your character goes through a lot of a lot of sort of growing up during the short period of time. And I wonder how you got into that and how you made her growth seem so authentic. Oh wow. Well, thank you for saying that, number one. Um, it's interesting. There's a moment, I can't give it away, and I, I'm not allowed to, I'd love to, but there's a moment where you can kind of see that she's grown like a lot. It happens in a span of like 10 seconds. There's kind of a, a big thing that happens between her and another character. And I was getting really geared up for that moment and having a lot of conversations with Julie and our showrunner about it and how that was kind of a pivotal moment for her because she goes from really not wanting to be there and being there against her will really to potentially enjoying herself and experiencing another part of her culture and heritage that she hadn't before. So that was fun. And it also helped that we didn't shoot things in order. We didn't shoot the first episode and the second and the third. We kind of jumped around a little bit. So I got to see ahead into the future and then come back and shoot some things. So that was great. Mikasa Sukasa. Not yet. <laughs>